Okay, so we're continuing with step one of the source content worksheet where we've taken already two of our sources, the Mitsovich and the NPR staff sources, and we've made our list of topics from those sources as well as the paragraph numbers that the topics show up in for the sources. So we're going to move to the third one. We began that at the end of the last video. This source is the Savannah Food Tour source. So far, we've just seen change in paragraph one. Now that we're caught up, let's start the next paragraph. Remember, we're looking for the topic sentence and the topic of that topic sentence. So one of the major changes brought about by the Civil War was that an entire class of rich white Southerners became rather abruptly a class of poor white Southerners. So there's a change in economic class. Let's see if that holds true throughout the whole paragraph. Money is worthless. They didn't have anybody to do anything. The white women had become reliant on the slave labor. The pre war multi course, and now they were forced to hire. Okay, so these look like some economic changes. In lifestyle, so again, we're going to go to our topic sheet. Economic changes in lifestyle. That was paragraph two. All right, if there was one thing these freed black women knew, so this was about the white classes, and this is now about the freed black women. They've been making meals out of lesser cuts, inexpensive. So it looks like this might be something about uh, economy also, but maybe the cost uh, or maybe less expensive cuts. This means much of the process of preparing what we'd identify as Southern food has its origins in slave culture. Here's an interesting piece. It only began to be assimilated after the Civil War by Southern whites. So these, these lesser cuts, vegetables, main menu that were free. Look here again, the reason for this regional shift was almost entirely economic. It had its roots in the post-Civil War era known as Reconstruction. So again, we're looking at the cost. We're also looking at maybe some origins or borrowing. So we go back over here. I would say it's again economic changes. So we're paragraph three here. It does deal with other change, paragraph three there. But we also had. Um, slave or former slave influence in paragraph three there. Savannah culinary tours, not just a tour guide. We want you, oh, it sounds like this is another one of those advertisements. So we're just gonna mark out that paragraph. In the interest of time, I have gone ahead and taken the Smithsonian Journeys Atlas. Uh, much of cuisine we know now know, think of as ours, came to us by war. The author here is Victoria Pope. So I'm going to take back out my sheet. I'm going to write Pope down. And I could take out another one of these sheets and write it all the way down, just keep adding those topics. But there may be some things in here. Remember that this is source number four. So let's see, on this one I have an unknown history. 
Here's change. Remember that we talked about change here. It was in the Savannah Food Tour article. So here, this is paragraph one, paragraph two. So I'm going to come over to change. Sorry about that. Change. And Pope, paragraph two. It's a little hard to see because of the um, height to get it large enough on your screen, but hopefully you can follow that over and then up to source four. Looking here, Tunisia, sorry, Tunisia and Egypt on that one. Again, I would write it down here, Tunisia and Egypt. This one is immigrants, tablecloths, and chargers. Again, I would write it here, paragraph four. Here's invasions, or the introduction of new food. Now for that, I'm going to go ahead and write this here. And that was paragraph one, two, three, four, paragraph five. I'm going to come over here, invasions, new food, paragraph five under Pope. Then here. New farming techniques is paragraph six. Muslims bringing pleasure gardens is paragraph seven. This deals somewhat with change, right? Adapt, then adopt. That's paragraph eight. Paragraph eight of the Pope source. Paragraph nine deals with food changes. Look at that very first part of that paragraph. Food constantly evolves. We definitely want to capture that. That's paragraph nine. The first adopters being the military. That's paragraph 10. Now, in this article, I do have where uh, Japan has adopted multiple things. So uh, here in paragraph 10, they say uh, that the Japanese took something from the British Empire that got it from India. And then up here, it also discusses how the J Japanese got Chinese food and kind of made it theirs. And then here's paragraph 11 about the Japanese being early adopters. So I'm going to come over here. That was pa paragraph 10, paragraph 11. Then paragraph 12 even talks about Tokyo Jap Japanese dishes that were by the Portuguese traders. So again, I'm going to come back to my chart. Japan, actually I'll put Japan adoptions. And that's paragraph 12. The next few paragraphs are actually this example of Maria Gramatico. I do not know how to pronounce her name, but she is in Sicily. Uh, so this is about her being famous for her pastries, then what makes up a classic Sicilian pastry, the convents where the nuns used to make the pastries, then how she learned from the nuns, then the convents pastries, how more of how this lady learned her pastry making, she went into competition between herself and the nuns. Then she teaches it. Today's bakers and the way that they eschew the old ways, they, they don't want the old ways, they want new ways. And then here again, I have this last paragraph about food evolving. 
So I have to go back. This was paragraph 11 here. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, paragraph 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So this is paragraph 22. And I'm here as change Pope. I'm going to add in 22. Pardon me. So we've had we've taken four sources and we've gone through the list of what each paragraph's topic is. Again, for that last source, I would continue to write down what each of those topics are. So the lady who learned pastry making, I would have her listed and maybe her name and the different things that she learned um, and things that she did listed as separate topics. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to show you on one sheet. The next video that we have, I will show you how to uh, take what you see here, decide which topics you're going to write on, and cluster those together.